My life with kidney disease started when I was 11 in 1959. I've had four transplants and I've been on dialysis four times, a total of 15 years. Having chronic kidney disease has profoundly affected my life. The diagnosis came in the uh, three months after I graduated from college. It seemed like you're going to be um, sick for the rest of your life. Seattle, state of Washington, the largest city of the Pacific Northwest. They have here an artificial kidney that could save your life. We were created through the efforts of Dr. Belding Scribner at the University of Washington. In 1960, he did something that had never been done before. He found a way to provide dialysis treatment to people who had kidney failure, and it allowed them to stay alive for days and weeks and months and years. Dr. Scribner wanted to have a small unit at which patients could be treated out of hospital. And Dr. Haviland, who knew everybody, was the person who made all this work. And so the Northwest Kidney Centers was founded. In January of 1962, we opened our doors as the world's first out-of-hospital dialysis program. The original Seattle Artificial Kidney Center had three stations for dialysis, so basically it could treat nine patients. There had to be a decision as to how do you select patients. And at that time, there was the admissions committee. I had to play God. I, I'm glad I didn't have to make those decisions. The committee actually continued until about 1971. Giving our patient control on their life, giving them flexibility so that they can have good quality of life, how else could you do it if you want to keep them alive with the best therapy and a flexible schedule and a lower cost. Home is where it is. Survival is better, opportunity for rehabilitation is better. It's the ideal treatment if you are able to do it. The Northwest Kidney Centers conducted the first clinical trials on human beings of epigen. Uh, a miracle drug, really, in the eyes of patients. The reason that patients with kidney failure get anemia is that EPO, erythropoietin, is a hormone that's produced by the kidney and which stimulates the bone marrow to make red blood cells. And when the kidneys fail, in most patients, their EPO production goes down. I cannot tell you how that drug changed my life. I remember one day coming, my children coming home from school and I was crawling up the stairs on my hands and knees. And they stopped and looked at me with fear in their eyes, saying, Mommy, why are you sitting in the middle of the stairs? After Epo, I didn't have to crawl up the stairs anymore. I could run up the stairs. Northwest Kidney Centers is for much more than dialysis. The patient is, at the, is the focus of our care. They um, coordinate care for kidney transplants. Our kidney transplant rate is 75% higher than the national average. They dialyze some people that other dialysis centers wouldn't want to dialyze because they're so sick. We now have 14 treatment centers where we started with one. We now serve um, patients in 10 hospitals when they have kidney problems. We now have 220 people getting treatment in their homes. We continue to broaden our services and deepen them through education, patient care, and research. It changed from being sort of uh, small time to big time in, in no time. Without having access to dialysis, I uh, wouldn't have been the best man in three weddings. I wouldn't have uh, traveled to 30 uh, one countries. Uh, now I've dialyzed in 22 countries. Had it not been for the Northwest Kidney Centers, I wouldn't have graduated from college. 
I wouldn't have gotten married. I wouldn't have had two children. I wouldn't have two grandchildren. They saved my life.